trying to I see if our five can work with our wheels. Using Torpnado oh, motors and yeah. using these go build a wheels, yeah. mechanum wheels, but we're having trouble finding screws for them, so we'll have to improvise. Yep. Okay, so I'm making a like top down yeah. wheel design. So basically, the concept is we'll have like two wheels. We're gonna put like tape or like something frictiony on these gears and then put them like this on each side. And then it goes down and picks up the wheel. It's not working, like it's not done right now, but like there will be an axle in this hole once I fix it. And then it should grab it. And yeah. What's up? Hey. Hello. How's it going? As you can see, we are starting to build our prototype chassis. And we're using these to lock them in. And we're building a rec. This is gonna, in the end, this is gonna turn out to be a kind of rectangular. I am mounting the motor plates onto all our motors so that I can mount it onto our prototype. Hello. 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 I'm building the, the claw actually. What's your major hiccup? We had shredded a screw because it was tightened too much in here. But now we finally got it out. So now we're putting it back and then we're going to mount all four wheels to our even smaller now chassis. I think much. We're basically just trying to get this. This is like a like a design for a claw. Uh, it's like a claw uh, an intake hybrid. Any problems so far? Uh, yeah, we we realized halfway putting the putting this through that this sprocket is not connected to this gear, so we had to take it all apart. But in all of that, I think it's been smooth sailing. Cool. Well, this is a prototype of our basic main chassis. It is 15 inches by 13 inches. And um, the main problem was these thicker wheels, so we had to like, shrink the chassis down and we had to really like squeeze in our motor so there's like barely any space. So today we built, uh, we started building our double reverse floor bar and this is like one half of it and we attach the motor and gears and tomorrow what we're going to do is attach the second half on the inside right here and replicate this side also. And these are the parts. Okay, so is there any like problems you had today or how you fixed them? Um, one problem was there's too much space between these and it was really flimsy. So we just secured it a lot with spacers and all that, and now it's like really hard, we can't move. So today, um, we created like a basic claw, so the wheels here are supposed to be for any type of grip, so this is just a prototype. So this was our second day of prototyping, and this we had access to all of our tools and all of our parts, and we had more people here today, so we were making more progress on our prototyping. We prototyped um, uh, different chassis designs, um, different intakes, the grabbers, wheeled intakes, and also started continuing our elevator, or which is powered by like a uh, double reverse four bar design. That's what we did today. What are you? What are you doing, sir? I'm oh, sorry. For them. Oh. Wait, wait, Shranch, can you hold that up to your face? Can I stick motors on there first? Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Like, like yo! So did you find the motor mount thingy that you were looking for, the servo hub? Well, he had it in his hand the entire time. <laughs> <laughs>